Yogi Mandy Ingber has trained celebrities like Jennifer Aniston, and today she's gonna take us through a 10 minute workout from her new book, Yoga Philosophy 28 Days to the Ultimate Mind Body Makeover. For my yoga philosophy routine, it's a hybrid. We're going to take a yoga pose and a toning exercise and pair them together to give you a total body yoga workout. Are you ready? Let's get Hi, started. Yeah. Good. Okay, so we're gonna start off in chair pose. So you're gonna sink your hips back and bring your arms up. Reach your fingertips upwards and draw the shoulders back and down. And we're just holding this for about 30 seconds. So as you're here, look down at your toes and see if you can just shift your body weight back so you can see them. This, this pose is also called lightning bolt, so you want to energize this pose. Good, now go ahead and draw the shoulders down and away from the ears and arch your upper back a little bit and feel your navel drawing in towards your spine. And just stay with your breath and start to feel this work. Now where are you guys feeling it? Feeling it in your glutes? Squat. Shift your weight back to your heels. Good, beautiful. Okay, so now we're gonna pair this with a squat. So separate your feet like a little wider than hip width, and we're just gonna pulse, we're gonna go down for eight squats. So we're gonna squeeze on the way up. You really wanna shove your hips back, okay? So sink them down. That's three. Good. So squeeze on the way up, and you're gonna feel your glutes here. Nice. Three more. Two, and then we're gonna pulse it at the bottom. So we're gonna pulse it for eight. So pulse it down, keep your weight back towards your heels, lift your toes up. Beautiful, and just stay with the breath. Three, two, and one. Perfect, now let's go ahead and step the left leg back. So reach the arms up. We're coming into a crescent lunge. So this is the yoga pose. You wanna make sure the knee is tracking directly over the toes. Extend out through your fingertips and draw your shoulders down and away from your ears. And just breathe here. So you wanna stay nice and calm. That's the yoga part. Just stay with your breath. Nice. So go ahead and bring your hands to your hips. Slide your back foot in a little bit and we're just gonna track straight down under the hips. So we're gonna lunge it for eight. Seven, six, five, four. This is also a little bit of a balancing work, so you should yeah. feel your inner thighs working. Yep. Good. Yeah. And hold it down and pulse it for eight, seven, six, five. Keep your tush squeezing. Oh, yeah. Two and one. Good. Let's switch sides. So go ahead and step back with the opposite leg. Inhale, reach up, extend, draw the shoulders down away from the ears. I like the stretch and the hip flexor. Right? Me too. That's what's so awesome is that you can actually get a stretch and strengthening at the same time. Beautiful. One more deep breath in. And exhale, hands down at the hips. You're going to slide the back foot in. And let's go for eight here. So seven, six. And keep that smile on your face. <laughs> Attitude is everything when it comes to yoga and life. Three, two, and one, and you're gonna hold it down, and you're gonna pulse it again. So keep the tailbone tucking under. Beautiful, navel draws in, and keep elongating your spine, nice straight spine. Perfect, now let's step up. We're gonna go into temple pose. So go ahead and separate your feet about mat width apart, sink down, and you're gonna just take your toes like at 10 o'clock and two o'clock, you wanna make sure that the knees are lined up over the toes, so don't overturn your feet, okay? Sink down, and you can already feel the outer and the inner thighs working here. Right? Yes. <laughs> I like prayer pose for almost all yoga positions because it's like, please get me through this. Okay, shoulders pressed down. Let's go into a plie squat. So we're gonna squeeze up and down. Two, good, three. So I just always pretend like I'm having a good time, right? <laughs> Act as if, right? Then you're gonna start to feel good. And one, okay, let's pulse this down for eight, seven, six, five, four, Three. I'm gonna add a bonus thing in here, right? Because Woo. just I wanna give you guys a present. So hold it down. This isn't even in my routine. We're Feel gonna the press burn. the knees open. Yeah, feeling the burn on the outer glutes, right? Yes. Four, yeah. five, six, nice. seven, eight. Perfect, let's rise up to standing. All right, so from here we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna step back into a downward facing dog. So bend forward, palms directly below the shoulders, and step back. Ah, uh, this feels good, right? To stretch out the hamstrings and the calves. Yes. Lift your sit bones up towards the sky. Just let your head dangle down and breathe. If your back isn't totally flat, bend your knees and let your chest press towards your thighs. Good, one more long deep breath. And then we're just gonna go ahead and take the right toes, angle them out to the side, and with a straight leg, we're gonna lift and lower for eight, seven, six. Now we're getting into the backs of the legs, five, Work that glute. Four, that's right, work that booty. Three, 
two, and we're gonna hold it up and pulse again for eight, seven, keep it up nice and high, right where the top of the leg meets your butt. Five, four, three, two, and bring it down. Let's go to the other side. So left toes, I think it really helps to angle the toes out to the side. So you feel that a little bit on the outer glute. Three, so this is downward facing dog into leg lifts. Five, six, seven, and eight. Let's pulse it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Ooh. Perfect. Let's go ahead and shift forward into plank pose. Did you miss me? Hi. That was great. Okay, so go ahead and <laughs> hips are level with the shoulders. Chest is forward, and we're just holding plank here. Excellent. Spin your biceps towards each other and spread your fingers nice and wide. And you're just, you know what else this is great for? It's great for core strengthening. I already right? feel that. Yeah, my you abs feel your, are really fired up. Right? Yeah. So you feel your arms and your abs here. All right, so now here's the tricky part. If you want to bring your knees down to the mat, you can. Or keep the legs straight. I'm going to do half up and half down just because I'm, you know, nervous. Okay, so down and up. Right? I don't always do this in front of a whole audience of people. You want to <laughs> hug the elbows in towards the ribs. Three more. Ooh, yeah, there you go. One down, five. two more. <laughs> and one. And let's pulse it down. Eight, seven. You want to keep the belly drawn in. Oh, I did the whole thing up. Ooh. See, that's how adrenaline. <laughs> two and one. Perfect. Let's go ahead and Ooh. press back into child's pose for a moment. Drop the head. Always child's nice. Child's pose. Everybody's favorite. Yes. Okay, good. So you just spread your palms nice and wide. Good. Deep breath in. Good. And then exhale. We're going to come forward onto the belly. So, so come onto your belly. And we're gonna just bring the arms out to the sides. So this is like a modified locust. Bring your legs up, inner thighs draw together. So when you bring your heels together, do you, you engage the inner thighs. Yes. And at the same time, we wanna just lift the chest. Good, and just take a couple of long deep breaths, enjoy this. If you want, you can. Great back strength. It is, right? Great back strengthening. It is great, it's great for, you're right, you're strengthening your back. Grab for the ankles and push up. Good, a little extra shoulder stretch here too. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna lower everything down. And now we're gonna go ahead and take cactus arms, so bent elbows. And you're gonna press your legs down into the mat and we're gonna lift the upper body. So for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's pulse it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, perfect. Palms down Ooh. on the floor. Woo! That Let's come on great. to all fours. Good. Yeah. Okay. Look at that backside. Okay. So now we're going to go into a cat cow, which is actually going to loosen up your spine. So we're going to inhale an arch. So whenever you take um, an arch or an opening, you inhale, and then a contraction is an exhale. So scoop the tailbone under, drop the head down. Good. Again, inhale, roll the shoulders back, lift the sit bones up, and exhale, scoop under. One more time, inhale. Doesn't this feel just so good? Amazing. And exhale. This is really gonna loosen up your spine. If you ever have back injuries, this is a great exercise to do. Okay, and we're just gonna curl under. Then you're gonna bring one forearm onto the ground. Take the opposite hand out to the side. And then we're going to take, so, so basically left hand on the floor, right arm out to the side. And we're gonna do these little doggy fire hydrants for eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and we're gonna pulse it up for eight, seven. A lot of legs here, right? These little pulses Four, that you add at the three. end are awesome. <laughs> it just makes it extra tough. It's man. extra. Okay, and then let's go to the other side. So same thing, right hand on the floor, left hand out to the side, and then we're gonna lift it up and down. I just did this with Jennifer Aniston yesterday, it's true. She loves these old fashioned leg lifts. Oh yeah. They work. They do. <laughs> two more. And one, and let's pulse it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Beautiful, okay. So we're gonna come down to sitting. The only thing we haven't done so far is abs. So we're gonna get our last exercise in here. Right. Go ahead and come up onto your sit bones. And we're just gonna take half boat. So just lift your feet to the level of the knees. You wanna push your lower back in, lift your sternum up, and extend your arms. And just look up and breathe and just feel so like connected to your center and your core. You know, this part of your body connects you with your willpower. So you need it right now, let's go. So we're gonna go for V up. So you're gonna lower down and lift. So extend the legs out, lower and lift. 
Three. Well, that takes some strength. Right? Four. You could maybe use your five. hands to that's modify. That's right. You, that's right. <laughs> that is that's a tough right. move. It is a tough move. Okay, and we're going to pulse it in for eight, seven, six, five. And I say exhale as you pull in. Two and one. Ah. Okay, wow. let's come to a cross-legged position. Well, how do you feel? Great. Awesome. Woo, we That's did it. total body right there. I feel right. energized yeah. and Wonderful. awake. Okay, thank you. Mandy, thank you so much. That was wonderful. Thank you so much. I had such a great time. And remember, you can love your body into shape. That's great advice. We'll see you guys next time on Pop Sugar Fitness.